The electricians are all done, except I forgot to have them add a couple things. One is this doggy door. I'm gonna be adding in a doggy door right down here. So this is that uh, middle door of the barn in the mudroom area. And I want to add in a doggy door right in this spot right here. And it's going to be an electronic doggy door. So that way her collar will uh, activate it and it will lift up and then shut after she goes through it. And that way it'll keep wild animals from coming in through a flap. Also uh, keep our cat in and not allow the cat to go out. So. Looking forward to having that installed here. It's, it'll free us up from having to open the door constantly for her. So in order to make this electric doggy door work, I need to add an outlet right here. And I forgot to put that in the plans. So um, I'm going to do that myself. I bought the box here and I'm going to install this box to go right, right there and then run some wire um, up and over to that GFI outlet over there. So that way it does have the ground fault interrupt um, for this box here since it's right here to an exterior door and also since I'm going to be punching through the the skin of the building here in case there's any water that comes in or anything like that it will have the ground fault interrupt installed. I'm just labeling this for the uh, electrician. Since this is all going to be covered up with drywall, I just want them to know this is what I added here for the doggy door outlet. All right, another thing I forgot to have the electricians add was power inside the master loft closet area. Um, I'm up in the master loft now, as you can see. The closet here, I needed power up here because I'm going to put some shelves here, and on this top shelf is where I'm going to put my uh, router and Wi-Fi unit and modem and everything for internet coming in here because I want it as high as possible gets the the widest coverage I need the power brought in and I also need the cat 6 cable coming in from here all the way over to where the television is gonna go down there and then also a, a line coming down through the floor right down below here which is where my desk will be for the computer in our current house, we have like 20 different devices connected to our Wi-Fi, whether it's, you know, the iPhones, the computers, the laptop, the TV, the DVD player, the Apple TV, the Amazon Fire Sticks, um, the printer, the doorbell. I mean, everything's connected to Wi-Fi now. So, um, you know, if I can put a landline in, you know, have a, a wired connection rather than the Wi-Fi, um, the better. So I just installed the box here. I'm gonna run the power line up. Oh, I gotta drill a hole through there. I'm gonna run it up and over, and down, and I'm gonna connect it into that outlet there.
all right there we got our our outlet for our modem and router and that's cabled down and connected to that outlet that faces that direction all right now i need to run the cat 6 cable from this box here all the way over to where i want the tv to be against that wall way over there instead of going diagonal all the way across which will be the shortest distance um, i'm going to take it along the edge like just a, a right angle and then in and the reason i'm going to do that is one a couple of reasons one um, if i bring it diagonal across all these rafters here I still got to put all my insulation in and all that wiring is going to be in the way of laying all my insulation because I'm not doing blown in. I'm actually got the rolls of it that I'm going to lay out on top of the drywall once the drywall is in. So the, the wires will be kind of in my way. The other thing is if I run it along this exterior wall here at a 90 degree angle there and then in, that allows me to access that cable then from the shop side if I ever need to. If I ever need to do anything with that cable. got the cat six land cable the local area network cable and this black one here is for uh, either satellite or my digital antenna so this is where the computer desk is going to go on this wall right here so i've got power coming in right here and i'm gonna put the cat six land cable over here so i need to install this box right here uh -huh. 